Now, for you to get the most out of this course, you're going to need to be working in the exact same environment with the exact same data that I have. And so to do that, we're going to use one of the standard Microsoft sample databases. Now, when you install SQL Server, one of the first questions you may ask yourself is, hey, wait a minute, where's the sample database? I don't see anything there but system databases. Well, Microsoft no longer installs a sample database with the product. If you want to use a sample database, it's kind of up to you to go out and download it and grab it. So the AdventureWorks sample database is what's built for the SQL Server 2012 edition, and it is available out there for download. When you download it, the download is going to provide you with two files. You're going to get a zip file, and when you unzip it, you're going to see AdventureWorks2012.mdf and AdventureWorks2012.dw. And that DW is a data warehouse version of the AdventureWorks 2012 MDF. In this course, we're only going to use the AdventureWorks 2012 MDF, and we're just going to use it to demonstrate and build and play with queries. Now, here's the good news for you. I'm taking care of you here. Look in your Working Files folder, and you will see a copy of the AdventureWorks 2012 MDF file. Now, we're going to attach the sample database. Now, using attach is a very quick, easy way to take a copy of a database from somebody. You can just grab a copy of their MDF database and then just grab that MDF file, bring it over to your computer, drop it into the data folder in SQL Server, and then go through the attach process. This is very quick, very easy way to move a database to a different SQL Server. A lot of admins and DB administrators will use this little trick to put an exact copy of their database onto a non-production test server to try out code and to write stored procedures and do all sorts of things. But make sure you hear this, okay? This is a classroom trick. This is a courseware trick, if you will. Microsoft recommends that you don't use attach to move databases around. They recommend that you use the alter database planned relocation procedure when moving databases. Now, having said that, let me give you a real-world alert. Attaching a database can expose you to a serious security risk in a production environment. You don't ever want to attach or restore a database from an unknown or an untrusted source. And anything that I'm downloading over the Internet, even if it's coming from Microsoft, like these sample databases, I would not just attach those ever to a production server. Now, that sounds like, well, duh, thanks a lot, you know, for that little bit of obvious information. But, you know, we've all done stuff like that before where we just really weren't thinking. We stuck something up there just to take a look at it, and then we find out we've got problems, and we're there late that night or on the weekend and all that sort of thing. The database may contain malicious code that can cause serious, serious problems on your SQL server. Now, this database that we're getting from Microsoft is okay. However, just be aware of this. When a lot of people see this attaching process for the first time, all kind of bells and whistles start to go off, and they think, oh, man, I can get a copy of my buddy's database, bring it over to my SQL Server, and help him with his code or help him with his normalization or whatever. Be very, very careful with doing that sort of thing. So what happens when you get into those situations when you must use attach, when you've got, say, a parts database from a vendor, or from a friend, or from a sister part of the company, and you need to attach that. Well, what you want to do is first attach that database to a non-production SQL server. Then you want to run the dbcc check db command on the database. If you're not familiar with that, just go out and look it up on Microsoft's TechNet site. And you want to examine all the stored procedure code, as well as any other user-defined code, like user-defined functions, anything like that, to make sure that there's nothing malicious or even inadvertently malicious in any of that code that's going to damage your particular database. So don't want to make a big deal out of this and turn this into a security class, but what we're going to do with a sample database is a really neat thing. And if you've never seen Attach, you're going to like this. And you're going to be astounded. But I just didn't want you to think, oh, wow, this is a solution to all my problems everywhere else. It can be, but you just have to be careful with this. Okay, so we're going to use sample database. We're going to attach it. We'll talk about attaching. We'll go through the whole process in a separate video.